Welcome to introduction to Maya series. I am your instructor Rohan Page. In this video, we will see the workflow of texturing a matchbox. Our workflow will be unwrapping a matchbox, then applying a material, creating a texture of matchbox, and applying that texture to the surface. Let's start with the session. To create a matchbox texture, first we will have to create the basic shape of matchbox, which we can create with the help of polygon cube. We'll go to polygon shelf, there we have a cube surface. And now I'll just resize it. To the shape of matchbox. Now after creating the basic shape of matchbox we will have to unwrap it. And we will have to unwrap it to create the 2D coordinates of this 3D surface. And those 2D coordinates are called as U and V. This UV coordinate will allow me to project a two-dimensional texture on a 3D surface. So to do so, uh, first of all, I will go to panels, layouts, two pans, stacked. It will create uh, two uh, view viewports. And uh, the bottom viewport, I would like to change it. To UV texture editor so we'll go to panel panel and choose UV texture editor so it will uh, show me or it will display the unwrapped UV coordinates of this 3d surface right now it will show me a default uh, UV of the surface and uh, to create a coordinates to the coordinates uh, either you can apply a planar mapping or you can apply automatic mapping on this surface so automatic mapping will determine the specific angle uh, or the axis uh, from where you can project a te texture on this surface properly i'll just select the surface go to uv and choose automatic mapping so you can see that uh, all the faces six faces of the matchbox got uh, properly um, uh, proper projection from their respective axis so I'll just go to uh, object mode now I'll select it press space bar you can see uh, the UVs of the matchbox which are right now uh, got placed in uh, 0 to 1 U and V coordinate in this UV editor but basically the shape of UVs do not match with the shape of uh, surface because my surface shape is not um, square whereas my UVs are got unwrapped in a square shape. So how to get the proper shape? What you can do is first of all we will just isolate them separately and later on we will uh, lay out it. I will just select one UV, right click, select shell, press G to repeat the shell command. Now select them, hold shift, right click and choose unfold option. But before choosing the option, go to its option box. Uh, by default, it uh, says the unfold method unfold 3D and uh, I would like to use legacy. And legacy means I would like to use the unfold method uh, according to the lower version of the Maya. Uh, as the unfold 3D is the new method which is which has got introduced in Maya 2016. But I want to use uh, the unfold method of earlier versions of Maya that is Maya 15, 14 and apply. So it will uh, bring down the UVs to their uh, respective position and you can see how it got placed. The shape of the square got changed according to the surface uh, shape. Right. So now select it. Shift right click unfold, select, shift right click unfold, press G to repeat, press G to repeat. Right now you can see 
so these uvs you can refer over here uh, to see which side of the matchbox it is it is the side uh, part of the matchbox it is also the side part i'll rotate it because as you can see this is uh, vertical and whereas the other side is horizontal you can just rotate it with the help of these two tools anti clockwise and clockwise i'll rotate it anti clockwise like this and now it is vertical uh, let us see whether it is top and bottom. This is the bottom part. I'll just place it over here. This will be the top part. I'll place it over here. While layouting the UVs, you will have to place all the UVs within this 0 to 1 area, whereas other area uh, nothing but is nothing but the repeat UV. So it will only repeat the texture pattern the whole, on the whole surface. I'll just keep the scale of this top and bottom a little bit large than other part because it is very much important for me according to texturing point of view. And then I'll scale it, these uh, sides also. And there will be no such as such textures on this area other than white uh, color. So I'll keep it less in size. So now after unwrapping uh, this particular shape, what you need to do is lay out it in zero to one range and uh, now as we know that maya do not provide as such any kind of matchbox texture we will have to use third party uh, software like photoshop or you can use any other software which can be uh, helpful to create a texture i'll be using adobe photoshop to create a texture pattern of matchbox so first of all we will have to save this uh, uv layout in the form of image which i can later on import in photoshop to uh, as a reference to create a texture so to do so select your surface go to uv editor and there is an option called as polygon choose uv snapshot option okay choose uv snapshot option let me just uh, go to polygon uv snapshot it will uh, open up the window of UV snapshot uh, option and now it will first ask you where you want to save this UV layout. I will browse it. I want to save it um, uh, on desktop. I will uh, rename it as matchbox UV save. Next the size X and size Y. Always these kind of uh, UV snapshots are saved in a square pixel, uh, which means if I'll change the size X to 1024, then size Y will be automatically changed to the same uh, uh, value to create a square uh, image. The uh, 256 is the lowest resolution of any image which you are going to save. Uh, you can uh, use it to 512 or you can use uh, double to it like 1024 or 204 it like that depends 1k 2k or 4k texture size and uh, choose the image format jpeg say ok so it will uh, give you the message that this particular uv uh, jpeg has got saved on the uh, preferred uh, what you can say location now the next part is uh, opening the photoshop and importing that uv image and then uh, we will have to create a texture and later on we will bring it uh, bring that texture back to uh, in Maya we will project it on surface. So let us see how we can create that texture of a matchbox in Photoshop. Now we will have to open that particular image go to file open I have saved that UV on desktop so I'll just go to matchbox matchbox UV open now you can see that the image is there with these white lines which are nothing but the UVs of your surface whatever texture you will have to create that should be within these uh, lines UV lines if I'll create anything on this blank area it is not going to be shown on my surface so first thing is create a new layer uh, you can rename it as matchbox top uh, it is important to rename your layer so that if any other person is handling your texturing uh, file then he can easily find out the layers and it will be easy uh, for that respective person to edit the texture according to requirement so first empty layer and i have renamed it as matchbox top and now uh, let us start creating uh, the pattern for the uh, respective top portion this is a top if you are not uh, 
uh, you know confident about whether it is top uh, or whether it, this portion is top you can go back to Maya and check it out in UV editor now I, I will select this basically I'm using this white color and now I'll just uh, reduce the fill opacity so that I'll be able to see UV margin now <clears throat> zoom in I'm using this brown color <clears throat> You can use a little bit dark or red or uh, brown. Later on, I'll merge it. Next, I'll just create a new layer. I want to create some horizontal lines over here, so I'll just uh, rename it like uh, horizontal lines. Go to select transform selection. I'll use little bit light yellow color. I would like to reduce the opacity a little bit like this uh, this much because uh, name of the company will appear over there so a little bit of reducing the opacity and now I'll just zoom in I don't want such kind of a little bit I'll reduce the width now I want to duplicate so how to duplicate control J first of all I'll control J to duplicate it then use Ctrl T to transform and then move it to decide at what distance you want to place the duplicate. Press enter and then to duplicate with the same distance use Ctrl Alt Shift and T for transform. It will duplicate with the same distance. Right. Now I have created this. I will merge all the lines. horizontal lines right now I will have to use a name on this particular uh, I'll just reduce the opacity a little bit because it is too much visible uh, this is okay for me right now you can rename it uh, whatever name you want to create for this particular home lights I'll use comic sans use bold one or else try something else you can have uh, anything bold which is 
Yes, this is good. Aerial rounded. I will use a yellow color a little bit for the text. What we'll do is I'll use home with a yellow color. A red orange, a red yellow, sorry, orange yellow you can say. And just cut uh, the likes and I'll paste it again <clears throat> as a separate text layer. I want some strokes on this particular line or text. Double click over here. I want to apply a layer style of a stroke. white color little bit uh, more size Okay, what I'll do is I want to separate this layer style as a separate layer. I'll right click over here and I'll say create layer. Now I have the separate layer of a stroke. I'll double click on that line stroke. I will apply another stroke of a, you can say yellow color. Okay, I'll separate that layer also create layer. Now I will apply another stroke of a white color. Let me just okay. I'll keep it like this home lights. Okay. You can apply the same thing for home also. I'll double click over here. Stroke. You need to separate it. First of all, create layer. Then on second layer, apply a stroke of yellow color separate that stroke into a new layer okay home lights i have created this uh, all text I'll just link them so that I can easily move them. Now I'll just rotate it a little bit. And I'll place it like this. Or else what we can do is after typing uh, each and every uh, recommended text, then we will rotate it. I'll create a new text layer and I'll uh, write down over here like uh, highly carborized with white color and reduce the size
and creating one shape with the help of rectangle make sure that it is a path create it I will just use transform I will rotate it 90 degree sorry rotate it like this adjusting the shape like this press enter and then press control enter to convert this into a selection and create a new layer named as logo I use the stroke with a black color write down the text inside it WRMCO Vimco I'll just link them and place it over here resize it according to requirement and now I'll just use this text and I'll rotate it like this okay so this is the basic texture now what I'll do is I'll just select everything I'll just group them and I'll uh, rename it as top I want the same texture I'll duplicate this group control J and select the group move it down just little bit opacity so that you can place it properly okay again bring back the opacity to 100 I'll rename it as bottom now for the site I'll create a new layer I'll create this and fill it with white color I'll rename it as side 01 I'll reduce the opacity a little bit I would like to use the brown color with a new layer and brush setting should be a sharp brush just check it out okay Now I'll just uh, name it as dots and then control J, control T to transform and then move it, place it and then to duplicate with the same distance use control alt shift T. Just select all the dots, move them properly. You can reduce the size a little bit. I'll bring back the opacity of white color and I'll just uh, rename it as dots. Duplicate the boats, move it and place it to other side. Just reduce the opacity a little bit so that you can place it properly according to the reference of the UV. Right? And I'll just group all of them and rename it as sides. And these will be the opening part which need not to be textured. So I'll just create a random selection and fill it with a white color. And I'll rename it as front back. Now I'll save this texture, control S, save it as a matchbox texture. in PSD format so that any other person can come and check the texture layer wise and can uh, change it 
and to apply it on uh, surface you must save it in jpeg the same texture file with jpeg format I use the maximum quality okay now it is time to apply this texture on our surface so let us see how we can apply this texture in Maya to apply the texture in Maya first select your surface right click assign new material I will apply you can apply the form because it will have a little bit of specularity if you uh, don't want any specularity on that surface you can apply Lambert to see the attributes of material right click and choose material attributes it will take you to the newly assigned material rename it at match box to apply the image on this surface you should go to the mapping button in front of color and we want to import a bitmap image of our texture so that you should use 2d texture file node so it, it will help you to import file uh, of a texture on surface click on file then there will be a folder option where you can browse your texture go to desktop match box this is the jpeg image and i'll just say open now I am not able to see the texture in viewport so press 6 on your keyboard to display the texture. Now you can see this is how the texture got placed properly to the respective sides as we have unwrapped uh, it in an automatic mapping and later on we have uh, taken the snapshot and we have created uh, the texture in Photoshop which we have uh, saved in JPEG and applied on this matchbox. So this is how you can create a texture for matchbox. Now let us see what we have learned in this video. What we learned in this video. We have seen how to use automatic mapping with the help of matchbox example where we have created a texture in Photoshop and then we have applied it on surface. For any further query you can follow me on Facebook or you can write me an email on rohan.pageanimator at gmail.com. Thank you.